Welcome to Over 50 TV. My name is Lou Reyes. I'm your host. And in today's episode of Over 50 TV, I'm going to tell you how to prepare for a job interview when you're over 50. Now listen, if you're younger than 50 and you just happen to be watching this video, you may be thinking, you know, what is he talking about? I mean, an interview is an interview. What would be the difference between uh, the questions they ask me if I'm 20 or 30 or, or 40 and what's the difference between questions being asked of somebody who's 50? Well, listen, chances are there aren't any differences in the questions. But what is different is the perception. The perception of the interviewer and the attitude of the person who's going in for the interview. And the person going in for the interview after over 50 years old, there's a lot of things that are swirling around in their head. And what I'm going to do in this episode of Over 50 TV is I'm going to talk about some of the basic things that everyone has to do to prepare for an interview. But at the end of this video, towards the end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to really cover some of the things that people who are over 50 need to know when they're going in for the interview. So that is up next right here on Over 50 TV. <music> Welcome back to Over 50 TV. My name is Lou Reyes. I'm your host. And you know, before the break, I told you that I want to let you know or, or help you really to prepare for a job interview when you're over 50. And listen, by any standards, preparing for a job interview when you're over 50 is certainly different than preparing for an interview if you're in your 20s or your 30s or even in your 40s. There are lots of differences. And I'm going to cover some of those in, in this episode here. But before I do, what I want to do is ask you to consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, you can do that just by hitting that little subscribe button. There's also a little bell. If you hit on that little bell, you just click on that bell. You'll get our latest updates and they'll be delivered right to your inbox. There's also a thumbs up button. If you like what I'm giving you, what we're telling you today, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Okay, what I want to do now is I'm going to give you eight ways to prepare for a job interview. And the first one I'm going to tell you is, and I call it, wear the uniform. And what do I mean by that? When you go into a company, you know, everybody in there is wearing jeans or maybe they're wearing some kind of a t-shirt or, or even just a semi, a very informal attire. So if you're going in for a job interview, wear the uniform. Okay, my friends, here is another of what I really do consider some of the basic ways of preparing for a job interview. Whatever your greeting is, whatever you decide to do, you want to practice that. You know, practice that handshake, practice looking that person in the eye, being strong, being confident, but practice the, the greeting. It That is so important. And again, I say it's a basic, but not enough people practice it and not enough people do it the right way. All right, here is another way to prepare for a job interview is to memorize your resume. If you're interviewing or if you're sending out a dozen or two dozen or three dozen or more resumes, you're going to have 12, 24, 36, whatever different resumes. Now, maybe some of them are going to be pretty darn close to the others. But regardless of all that, be sure that you memorize that resume. And I know this sounds like something very basic, and it is, but too often I've seen many people who go in and don't remember the dates, they don't remember the, the, what they, exactly what they did, and they kind of fluff through it. No, prepare. Know what type of interview you're going into. There are different types of interviews, and I sometimes refer to my experience, or oftentimes I refer to my experience in some of the businesses that I've had, I know that when someone is coming for an interview, if I decide or deem it necessary, I'll have them interview one-on-one -on -one with one of the managers, or I've had them interview one-on-one -on -one with me, or I've had them come in for a group. I've had somebody walk in the door for an interview, and they come in surprised to see that there's three or four people sitting in front of them rattling off question after question, asking them about their, their experience, asking about what their plans are, what their goals are. So when you are going in for an interview, before you go to prepare for this interview, ask the hiring manager or ask the headhunter or whoever you know, whoever you want to talk to, ask them, what type of interview am I going into? Practice the answers to the 10 most asked questions because nothing, nothing 
is worse than going into an interview and hesitating and hemming and hawing. I hate to use that term, but it's a, a term I'm familiar with anyway, hemming and hawing. But nothing is worse than going into an interview and not being succinct, not being clear, not being able to answer the basic and what I call the 10 basic interview questions. Research the company as the publisher of multiple magazines of a chain of business to business publication of a weekly newspaper. I can tell you that I've interviewed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. I will tell you that most of the time, I, I don't want to say most of the time, but let's say more than half the time, I guess that's most of the time, people will come in for an interview. And I've sat in many of these with my hiring manager or some of the managers and people will come in and they come in and they don't know enough about the company, but they're there, they're sitting in front of us and they want this job and they want the position, they want to work for a growing business. But you know what? They don't impress us because they don't know enough about the company. And I always ask the question and I cross my fingers and I hope they're going to know about what we do and what our goals are. But they don't always. And as I said, more than half the time I find that they don't. If you want to impress someone, if you really want to prepare for a business, do your research and know that company. I think I've gone through some of the basic ways that you want to prepare for an interview when you're over 50. And I say basic because they're pretty much what everyone who is going for an interview, regardless of their age, is going to do to prepare for an interview. It's if they're smart, if they really want that position, and if it means a lot to them, they're going to prepare, they're going to follow some of the basic things, some of the basic things that I've outlined in, in, this, uh, in this video. But now what I want to do. Now what I want to do is tell you, if you're over 50, there are some things that you must do to prepare for the interview. What you have to do is you've got to have confidence. You must remember and know and understand who you are, what you've done, what you've accomplished, and know what your goals are. So confidence, have the confidence in yourself. Because most people over 50, what I find is they're nervous, they're concerned, hey, I'm over 50, these people aren't going to want to hire me, I'm 55, I'm 60, they're not going to want to hire me, I'm too old. I have heard this many, many times. And I'm going to tell you, have that confidence. Believe in yourself. It's very important because if you don't, it does come across. That interviewer will sense that, an interviewer will feel that you're not a confident person. So that's one of the things that I'm going to suggest that you do when you're over 50. Now here's another one enthusiasm. When you go in for that interview, I'm not saying jump up and down. I'm not saying go into that interview and just be all bubbly and jumping and saying, oh, here I am. And you know, I have just got all this energy. You know, you don't need to say all that stuff. You don't need to act that way. But go in with enthusiasm. Go in there and be positive. Go in there and sit there and be attentive. Go in there and, and, and act and look and feel and be somebody who's got enthusiasm, someone who has energy, because they're looking at that. They want a person. An interviewer, when that person is interviewing somebody who's over 50, they want a person who's got enthusiasm, somebody who can get excited. So have enthusiasm. When you're over 50, have it or don't go into the interview. That's just it. Here's the last thing that I'm going to tell you. Go in with the right attitude. It's always about attitude. Always. You know, years ago, years ago, I remember hearing about a, a running back, a pro football running back, and I remembered something that he said, that I heard he said, and I, 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 listened, so, I listened so closely to this, and what he said was that there were a lot of people that had way more talent than him. A lot of people who were more, had more physical gifts than he did. But he believed it was his attitude, his attitude that made him one of the top running backs in the NFL because he believed in himself. He was shorter than most of the running backs. He wasn't as large as most of the running backs, a typical prototypical running back in the NFL, but he had the attitude. It's all about attitude. If you're over 50 years old and you go in for an interview, don't worry that you may have the gray hair. Don't worry that just maybe you have more wrinkles than that other person across the desk from you. 
going with the attitude, going with the belief and the desire that you know, the confidence, the enthusiasm, that you know you're there and that you know you have the qualifications. Because if you believe in yourself and you have that attitude, you have that confidence and you have the enthusiasm, you'll have a lot greater chance of getting that job. Think about what I've told you today because it's going to help you. I have interviewed, as I mentioned, hundreds of people. I've built multiple businesses. I've started up companies. I've interviewed so many people. And the people that I hired, the people I wanted on my team, were the people who had the desire and the energy and the drive that I've just described today. This is Lou Reyes with Over 50 TV. Before I forget, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to our channel, hit that little red button, hit the bell. That means you'll get our latest updates and give us a thumbs up. I look forward to meeting you and talking to you again soon. Have a great day, everybody.